This is our Cell City Story Zombie Apocalypse. By Cosmo, Krishna, and Sophie H.C. First, the polio virus has to find a cell that has the right locks on the surface. Then it fits its keys onto the locks and the cell will let it in. Once it has found the right cell, the polio virus enters the cell. But it has to disguise itself so that it won't get rejected by the cell. Then it enters the host cell using a pore in the plasma membrane, through which the RNA is then injected into the cell cytoplasm, and that is from Wikipedia. Right after it enters the cytoplasm, it lets out its RNA. That is the cell, and that is our Lego model. After the polio virus's mRNA has got, entered the cell, it goes straight to the nucleus. Then it takes the place of an mRNA made by the DNA in the nucleus and attracts some tRNA and ribosomes. Then, instead of reading the actual cell arm, uh, mRNA, the tRNA accidentally reads the virus and tells the ribosomes to make more and more viruses instead of cell functions. This is our picture, and this is our cell. These are our cell Lego versions. So, once the ribosomes in the rough endoplasmic reticulum have been hijacked to create more viruses, all of the viruses are then released. The nerve cell's functions are disrupted by that, and it dies. The dying nerve cell can re release up to 10,000 polio viruses at once. The released virus goes on to infect other nerve cells and the cycle repeats. The damage in the nerve cells destroys your motor neurons and leads to weak limbs and acute flaccid paralysis. Like shown in that photo. And that is the, the fake RNA or the virus RNA turning into viruses. And this is our city story. One day, there was a zombie, and it walked into the city border. The zombie had to disguise itself so that no one would think it was a zombie. The zombie went to meet with the mayor, and once the zombie met with the mayor, it had, it, the mayor gave it orders to give to the food factory boss, and that's the zombie entering the city, and that's going to meet with the mayor. These false orders were given to the factory foreman. This food factory started to create the new zombifying food. So everyone in the city bought this food, and soon these zombifying edibles were in every house. Within the week, the town was overrun with zombies. After everyone in the city has eaten the poison food, they all get turned into zombies. The undead prowl the streets until it is an abandoned ghost town. The zombies then go to invade other cities, and those zombies go on to the other city, and the cycle repeats itself until the whole country is an undead nightmare. These are some of the sites in which we found our information and images. Mostly we just use image, uh, images and links to sites from Wikipedia.